Today, I'm gonna to help you have better posture by putting two or three of the movements I teach together so that you can see how legs, hips, and upper body affect each other and how they can help each other. Yep. I'm Lisa Ann McCall and today we're gonna to talk about what is optimal posture? Really optimal posture is um, the ability to really live your life comfortably and move well and feel good and, and your body's optimal way of moving, um, you find out, wow, this is really great. It's not something like, well, this is the right thing to do and that's the wrong thing to do. I don't do that world. I do experience. Experience is you, what's going on in your life and how it fits in your world. I see the biggest struggle people have is really related to the upper body. Because if, if, if you're here talking to people or you're, you know, at your computer, you spent years working over a desk, then you're going to have a tendency to unknowingly have a lot of stiffness and forward in your neck and head. Here. Yeah. Okay. So how can I help you get that out of it, out of here? is to put together two or three of my movements. Let's start. Let's sit back and go back to recline as divine. That's the one where we go in, we keep the straight spine, we sit back, we find a chair that we can press down, we can bend. It's like you're pulling a sweatshirt off your back. You're stretching, you're slump, you're purposefully stretchy slumpy. And then you're gonna take your back and you're gonna rest it. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your hands behind your head, clasp your fingers, and you're going to really make a headrest with your hands because you want in this position, your head to rest. Now I'm gonna talk while I'm in this position because this is one that you just have to give it your time. You have to stop. You have to let it happen. You have to feel those arms working. You have to breathe. And when you exhale, you've got to let the throat and the chest and the head all let go so that the head gets heavier. And if you do this for a good 90 seconds to two minutes, then you come out of it, you literally can go, oh, yeah, this is, something's different. But what's different is this tension deep in, like inside of my skin right here is letting go. And that allows this to open and this to unlock and this to be more upright. So then what I can do is I can take that little movement that I just did, and then I can take it to the next step and get a little something under my butt because I don't want to lean back. And I can say, wow, okay, now I get, I get it. I got my hips more centered from an upright position, different than leaning back. I'm upright and now I can feel more upright, straight, optimal, feel better. You can't know what optimal is until you experience it. So don't get in your head about this. You've got to really feel it. So these two steps are where I'm going to stop. Practice leaning back. It's like you're sitting at your desk and you get tired. Just lean back. Give it your 90 seconds of, of really letting go. Don't do a back bend. Don't have your chin up. You've got to really like Think that you got your head on a headrest, and your headrest happens to be your hands. Don't let your chest pop up. They're little things. Just let go, let the legs go. And when you can do this for a week or so, for 90 seconds, a couple of times a day, you have a new orientation of what's optimal for you. So that when you get up here and you say, okay, now I'm going to, sit on my pillow a little bit, I'm gonna sit upright. Oh wow, well, okay, now I have a new, I have a new reality of what's more optimal. And we can add the legs later, but this, my friend, is magic. Do it.